Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor by Past Life Pro, and with the release of the Cuda V6.1.13 Beta Ultra, we've now got a new feature to play around with, this one being dynamic weather. So, let's get started. First, have the Cuda shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Access the folder, access the shaders folder, and locate composite.vsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. Premiere, find line 20. By default, dynamic weather is left off. To turn it back on, simply replace false with true. To give you a good understanding as to what dynamic weather offers, take a look at the clouds, the lighting, and the ground. Over time, clouds will slowly bunch it together and create sort of an overcast look. Give it some more time and the clouds will disperse and let in more of the sunlight. This is basically what this feature is all about, and believe me, it does have its place. So, before we move back into Minecraft, direct your attention to line 21. I won't be changing anything here, but I thought I'd put this out. Larger numbers will make the transition effect from overcast to sunlit much quicker, and vice versa for smaller numbers. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As with all my Cuda Shader tutorials, versions in time will change, so if you have any questions, then I'd be happy to help you out in the comments section down below. If this Cuda Shader tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!